Sorry guys, we were disconnected here for a sec. Um, but I'll continue now with what I'm trying to explain is our main theorem, as I said, is about how can we figure out whether there is even a complete max, max, matching or not. It might be a different thing to actually find the complete matching, although these problems are related a little bit. So I want to look at the example here of um, uh, the more com the this particular guy. The, this was a bipartite graph, and we want to know whether this is possible to uh, find a complete matching. Okay, <clears throat> so how does that work? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a theorem, but before I do the theorem, I'll I'll work it out a little bit also here on the. Um, so let me let me erase here with a big eraser that I get rid of everything. <clears throat> I need some space, so I'm I'm getting rid of all bobs and pops and analysis and so they're gone. Okay, and so we have now this kind of abstract bipartite graph. You might okay, what it represents we don't know, but it's it's there. And so the first thing I, I need to, to make again is this neighborhood table. So here's going to be the vertices, the green vertices. Remember, I only have to do one part of them. Uh, I hope you remember from the previous example that um, if I have a bipartite graph, it's enough to know where the top guys go, what the edges between the top, the neighbors of the top guys is, because that completely determines all the edges. So <coughs> here the green vertices and here the neighborhoods of the vertices. So that would be uh, A... C, what is green? F, I'm going to try to get, oh, E is worth alphabetically first, then F, and then O, I guess, right? Okay, so these are the ones, again, alphabetically, I'm just doing it so that I keep myself, oh no, I forgot one, W, keep myself sane. It's just about sanity, just to make sure that I don't lose, forget anything. Okay, so A, what are the neighbors of A? There must be three neighbors, so that is K, H, okay, I'm not really alphabetic now anymore, and J, right? Okay. And the neighbors of C, also three neighbors, G, I, and uh, I, I lost one, ah, J, and J, okay. And then neighbors of E, that's two neighbors, that is H and K. The neighbors of F, three neighbors, so that would be I, L and K, right, yes, and then the neighbors of O, O had one neighbor, that was easy, H, and then W has two neighbors, namely H and J. Okay. All right, so, what is now the main theory? So this is called the marriage theorem, because as I said, one way of representing matching is uh, thinking of the green nodes to be men and the purple nodes to be women, or vice versa. And then, let's say, uh, let let I'm going to do an example here. Let me do first one example um, before I work out this example in more detail. Because I want to do, oops, sorry, I want to do an example, it, it, a bit of a smaller size, so that you see how does it work. Okay, so I'm going to do a second, we will come back to this graph. So I'm going to do, let me scroll up here and, and get myself a bit more space here, perhaps. Perhaps I need this. I'm going to give myself a little more space, and we come back to that problem then. So here's another graph. Uh, let's make it a marriage graph, right? But let's get the girls to choose. So we have Alice again. Let me put them on top here because I need space. Okay, so we have Alice. Uh, we have B, Beatrix. We have um, Chloe. We have Daria. And we have Eva. Or Eve, let's call it Eve, right? Remember Eve from, from our uh, cryptography? Let's call it, put her in there too. Okay, and so they are trying to match... <coughs> <coughs> they all give their prep and th these are the girls and here are the boys let's call them Farouk um, 
George, uh, Wang, Isidore, and John. Notice that I kind of took alphabetic uh, num uh, names here. So now, Alice fences Farouk. So all the girls are taught, who do you fancy? Al Alice says, I fancy Farouk and I fancy George. Uh, B fancies Farouk, George, Isidore, and John. Okay. Chloe, she only has an eye for Farouk. Uh, Dario also likes Farouk. He's very popular. Dario likes Farouk. She also likes uh, Wang. And she also likes... John, okay, and then finally, if who, who would not want this handsome boy Farouk, right, and then uh, also George, and that is it. So let's see the degrees again. I'm gonna put the degrees here. Just this is for my sanity check: two, four, one. There should be four, so it's not something missing. I'll figure it out. And this two. So what am I missing here? Daria also fans Isidore. Oh, I forgot Isidore. Sorry, Daria. Okay, here we go. Now, granted, the way I formulated it, you would think it actually is a directed graph because it's Alice who fences George. Let's not... In this particular problem, it doesn't really matter much whether it's directed or undirected. So there is a notion of directed bipartite graph, but I'm kind of glossing over it. I'm just going to do this one. Okay, so the question is now, can we match? So let's, let's first of all, as I said, what we need to do is here the vertices. So these are the, here are going to be the girls. The, these are the top vertices, and here are the neighbors of these, the neighborhoods of these girls. So we have Alice. We're just going to first name B, Chloe, first initial I mean, Daria and Eve. Okay, so Alice has Farouk and George. B has Farouk, George, Isidore and John. S Chloe only likes Farouk. Daria looks Farouk. George, Wang and Isidore. She's not very picky. And if is Farouk and George. Okay. <coughs> yes, okay. So, well, we could try to do the matching, and we see already what we need to do here. We have discussed it before here. Because Chloe has degree 1. If we want to match everybody, we're looking for a maximal matching. means all the girls are matched with a boy. There are, f by the way... There are five girls. Now, there could be more boys, right? I could try to make a matching where I have even much more boys. It might be e The more boys, probably the easier it is. But in this case, we have kind of limited our choices. We have only five boys. So that's it. the lesser matching in the bottom, the less, the less vertices in the bottom here. Of course, if you have only four, it will never work, right? I hope that's clear why it cannot be a complete matching. You cannot match all five with four because, remember, you cannot match any of the girls with the same boy. Okay, uh, no, um, that leads to bi um, polygamy and things like that. So that's not allowed. Or Okay, so, so we have already seen, we, since we have something from degree one, that if we want to match, it is Farouk has to go to... Chloe has to take Farouk, because otherwise she cannot take anybody else. And so we could keep going that way and, and er erase and see if... Now, look what happens in that sense. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to rewind the video, so I'm going to try to do as little as possible. So I'm saying I'm going to take this match. So that means that uh, Farouk is gone, right? So nobody can choose Farouk anymore. Of course, Chloe is also gone, so let's, let's also scratch out. Be, when I scratch out, means I have taken care of them. I cannot use them anymore. So now we see that both Alice and Eve only have chosen George. So there is no more choice left for them. Uh, one of them can take George, but the other one is then left without anybody. And this already is a problem. So we see a complete matching does not exist here. So let me... I'm going to... 
get rid of everything. I hope it was clear. Should I, if you don't clear, think about it a little bit, uh, pause the video and look at it more clearly, a bit longer that you see what I was saying. So what is the, in other words, the problematic com combination was caused by Chloe, Alice and Eve. Those three guys had a problem. Why? Well, let's look, look at it. What are the neighbors of these three guys? The neighbors, remember, is actually their choices. What were the choices of Alice, Chloe, and Eve? Well, there were only two choices, Farouk and George. So, there were three people, and they only chose two. Uh, and nothing else, right? These three people only chose those two. That's never going to work. So, what we have here, we have a subset, we call this, sorry, this set here is a set sigma, is a sub of, subset of the vertices of the first kind. So this was V1, if you want. In the textbook, they, they always call this V1, and the other ones they call V2. And we're trying to find a matching from V1 to V2. Okay, so we have a subset. What we have, the subset has two elements. Sorry, the subset has three elements, namely A, C, and E. But its neighbor set, the set of neighbors, is smaller. It has only two. And this is something that causes problems. So, and what the strange thing is, and this is kind of not always easy to have results like this, that's the only problem that can happen. So the managed theorem says this. The managed theorem if for all subsets of the first kind, we have the following inequality. The number of neighbors is bigger or equal to the number of these vertices. In other words, every subset of vertices has a collection of neighbors that is at least of that same size. In other words, meaning that that's kind of what we need, right? So here we saw if that's not the case, we're in trouble. If we have a subset, there are three three girls and the only one and the only are interested in these two boys. That's gonna get to uh uh, I don't want to say cat fights, but it might get to there, okay? So, we need this. This condition we need. But if it's true for any subset, then a complete matching, complete matching exists. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you how to do it, but it's, at least it's, it tells you when you can do it. Now, when we are um, using this managed theorem, when we're going to apply it to a bar-tart graphs, in most cases, actually, it won't work, and therefore, we're going to have a failure of this condition. Now, let's think about how, what's the negation. For all, so this is a, if we would do this with logically, this is a for all subsets, this must be true. What's the negation of a for all? It's the <coughs> Negation of an exist of a universal is existential. There is a subset such that this is not true. In other words, there's a subset where the opposite inequality is true. Where so what we're looking for, so what we look is failure. Marriage failure, the, the marriage, the matching ma fail matching failure, complete matching failure is because there is a subset. Of the vertices such that its neighbors has less elements than the subset itself. That that's clearly is a problem, and that's the only problem can happen. So uh, we saw it here. We we gave I gave this example. Now let's look at the previous guy, and that is why I drew um, the the neighborhood sets. We need to calculate neighborhood sets, and therefore it's it's we need to have them to do the calculations now. Can I find, let's think about it, how can I find, so I'm going to write it here. So what I'm looking for, so is a matching possible? And let's assume it's, let's be pessimistic and say, I think it's not going to be work. Uh, it's, it's a hard problem, right? Especially because we have as many, again, we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six green and six purple. So again, it's a rather tight match that we have to make, if possible. So we are a little bit skeptical. So we're saying what we're looking for is we find we want 
we look for, so this is how we solve this kind of problem, we look for a subset of the Green, uh, the green ones, the, the green vertices, yeah, I don't know why I use the red, red color here on the left, but they're green vertices. I want a subset of the green vertices such that its size is bigger than the size of its neighbors. Now, let's think about it. If I take the, a subset everything, is that going to work? No, because, I mean, in this case, not because... Um, the neighbors of everybody is going to be everybody. The, old, the neighbors of all the green guys, the neighbors of every every boy has been chosen by at least one girl, so the neighborhood of, the neighborhood of all the girls is going to be all the boys. So they, they have the same size here. Already, if there would be too few boys, it would never work, right? I, I'm, I'm thinking now, again, the green, the green are the girls and the, and the, the pink are uh, boys, which is not the usual color scheme but new, uh, associates with these uh, genders, but okay. So, we look for um, a set like that. So, we, we, we cannot take everybody. Can we take a single guy? No, it's not going to work either, because if I take a single uh, green guy, then what is the size of this? This is going to be 1. Well, 1 is always going to be smaller than this guy, or at least equal to it. Remember, it, this, this has to be strict inequality, right? So, in order for this to be... If this is 1, to be the strict inequality, this should be 0, but we know every, every guy, every neighborhood is non-empty. Everybody has made a choice, right? So... I just taking one is not going to work. So the next best thing is can can we find something? So can we find something at counterexample of size two? So I'm looking for a subset of two of these vertices. That what would it mean then? They would have one single guy in common. I don't see that. Okay, so I don't see this. It, that's kind of quickly ruled out because if they have they have if they have only what this means. Remember that this. How do you calculate this? So how would you, if, if you take a subset here of, so if you take a subset sigma here, so a subset of these guys, then the neighborhood set is just the list of all the guys that are in, in the, that we are listed here for those guys, okay? So if I, have, for instance, take C and E, the neighborhood set is exactly the one you see on the right, G, H, I, J, and K, okay? So, two, it doesn't work. What about three? Normally, 2 doesn't work. It's too obvious for 2. So, the first thing we would look at is 3. So, what we need now, let's think about it. We need a set of 3, let's call them girls, <coughs> but they all are interested in only 2 boys, or even 1 boy. This this is 3, this has to be less, so it could be 2 or 1, or 0, but okay, we know it's not the case. Um, is that the case? Okay, so first of all, it means we... If this set cannot have more than size 2, and how they build this set is the union of several of these sets, these sets should not be... This is a set of two elements, okay? This is a set of two elements, so the union of these two is still two elements. But if I put this one in, together with it, there's also a set of two elements, right? I'm, I'm not looking only for neighbors, even a single neighbor with two. So if I just take this guy, I have already two here. And, and then, then I should not put more in there. So if I take this, this and this, it doesn't work, right? Because I would have one, two, three neighbors. Okay, that's fine, because we have one, two, three guys. Well, three girls. Understand that? What I'm trying to say is, even with three, I don't see a counterexample, because the only counterexample I could consider is counterexamples where the neighbor sets has to be at least two. If the, if the, neighbors, if the neighbor set of a single guy is already three, this is already three. Right? Because there's going to be more stuff in there. If I put C in sigma, then G, I, and J automatically are in this side. And there are already too many. So, for 3, I can only consider these guys, and that's not working. Or, or these two, well, no, I need to take 3, right? Remember, this has to be 3. So, I don't see anything with 3. Oh, oh now you're getting... This gets... What about 4? So, what I'm looking for now is the following. I found 4 girls who somehow are interested only in three boys. And now I see this. I don't know how long it takes for you to see it, but it is this, 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 and this. So, the set that I was after, Sigma, is the set uh, Alice, Eve, oh, they, they were named Olivia, okay, I have not got the name, and uh, W is... Um, uh, Windy, Wendy say, okay, so these are the two girls, 
And they only, the neighbors of these girls are the boys. So let's make up boy names. Uh, K is uh, Karim. And H, it's me. I'm, I'm H. Uh, I forgot my name. J is John. And then who else? Oh, that's it. So we see here that the size of this is 4. The size of this, the neighbors is less than that, is 3. So, so we have this is less than that. So we have a counterexample. We have this, we found this. So no complete matching. And then, of course, we can ask, okay, if it's not complete, perhaps we can do with one less. Okay. So what is the problem going to be? These four are, we, we can, the, the problem of the complete matching will lie in these four already. So one of these four will be, uh, what do you call that, uh, celibate, so it has to stay um, a spinster. So you can now imagine, so as I said, make choices. Okay, we know already we have actually no choice here, right? We have to match O with H. So let's, 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 do, let's try to do a match on the matching. O has to be matched with H. So where is that? So this is the match that we have to make. Then uh, if I do this, uh, H is gone, okay, and o, o is gone also. Yeah, sorry, it's a little bit too much colors, right? Okay, let me let me undo my coloring. I'm gonna use a different color, use red. It's perhaps a bit more legible. So I'm saying, O and H, I'm gonna match because I have no choice. They have to match because O has only one choice, so I have to match Olivia with with me. Ah, yay! I got I got Olive Oliva. Okay, so uh, what else? Uh, yeah, that means that H is gone now. So I cannot no longer assign H to anybody. So, okay, so now I W and E each have to be assigned a certain person. They have no choice. So I go, Wilma gets John. Where is Wilma and John? So this is that. So this is Wilma and John. So the J is gone now. J is gone. J is gone. And then A, like Alice can go to, uh, Karim. That was Karim, right? We said, okay, so we can do this much. So, Alice, you get Karim. I'm sorry, uh, Eve, you dropped too many e Eves, Eve dropping, and so that's why nobody wants to marry you, or we're not going to assign you. And so now we are left here. Notice that we have only two candidates left that we have to match, and we have three choices. So we can be a little bit liberal here. So, okay, I'm going to match C. Cecile gets George. Okay, so G is gone. C is gone. And then let's give, uh, uh, um, I don't know, I haven't come up, Fariba. Fariba gets uh, Isidore. Okay, here is one. So Fariba, Isidore. And that means you see what happens now. Uh, L, Leo, is not matched. Leon, let's call him Leon. Leon is not matched with anybody. And also for the same reason we had to leave, uh, with, who, who was it that? of the girls that didn't get any anybody oh eve yeah right eve so you see and this is a maximal matching why is it maximal well maximal means as much as possible the, ma the com maximal maximal the best optimal would be everybody that's six so if we cannot do six because we know we cannot do six because the marriage theorem tells us it cannot be done we have this counterexample this counterexample here then we can Perhaps do it with five. It's now possible that you even cannot do it with five. You need four or three or two. But at least we have found one with five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a maximal matching. Okay. So um, one, two. Uh, I think I'm going to stop here. Let me quick look at my notes. What I want to do here. Um, yes, I think so. Yes. So there's a little bit more on... Uh, graphs, new graphs from old graphs, edge contraction and, and removing vertices. So I'm going to let you read that, although we might later use it a little bit and then I will review it. Okay, so for now, this is basically I wanted to talk about bipartite graphs and this marriage problem. Okay, see you next time.